This is RDX Labs from Fuse FX and Roscoe. This is a Cinity Gear News video supported by B and H and CVP. Hey everyone, Graham Ayler Sheldon here from CineD.com. We're at CineGear 2022 in Los Angeles, California. On my right is Emily from Roscoe, and then I have Aaron over there, and you're from Fuse, right, Aaron? Fuse FX, that's correct. Very cool. So Aaron's going to be helping us out on the iPad, and then I'm going to be speaking mostly with Emily about uh, Roscoe's RDX Labs initiative here. So full disclosure, uh, I'm a Roscoe ambassador. It is what it is. I think this technology is incredible, so we're just going to do this thing. So Emily, tell me, what is RDX Labs? Yeah, so as you know, Graham, Roscoe has been in the business of helping filmmakers around the world transition their filmmaking from analog to digital. So in the same way that we've taken our lighting products and we've helped filmmakers transition from analog color to digital color with an easy to control app, we and FuseFX, our partners here, are doing the same thing with digital background imaging. So, as you may know, we have an Academy Award for the creation of our day-night image backing. So, for 35 plus years, we've developed a huge catalog and we often do custom prints that include still and motion plates that folks can use for background images. Now, of course, the next evolution of that is virtual production on LED walls that you see behind me. However, there's always been a challenge when you're working in a virtual production or volume situation because most often when you want to have a fine degree of control, you need a massive number of people on a brain bar custom building that content for you in real time, slowing you down on set. And it's, of course, very expensive. Yeah, you need programmers sitting in the corner. I mean, you need the whole thing. Absolutely. So, you know, I, I like sliders. I like to be able to control things myself. I want control over the entire asset as much as I can. You know, I'm a cinematographer, so I want to audition things for a second and then change my mind. So, Talk to me about, so it's a, a library of images plus the programming required to, and UI required to then manipulate those images in a nutshell, right? For virtual production. Exactly. So now we have full degree of control over your background image with a really easy to use iPad application that can be put in the hands of the DP or the art department or heck even craft services. It's that easy to use. So like the image you see behind me right now, we have one of our New York stills and we can do a huge amount of manipulation to this so we can change time of day going from day to night. We can zoom in or zoom out on a particular area. Maybe pan a little bit left or a little bit right. Change the horizon line. So huge amount of control and this can also key into a camera tracking system with the Unreal Engine. So you have full motion capture control and full stream avail availability with parallax consideration, all the things that Roscoe's been doing and are still images for a very long time. And then, of course, it's not enough now to have still images. You want to have motion and animation effects. So you can add actually layers of animation over this, whether it's maybe having your buildings twinkle or seeing the traffic go back and forth or can we put like some fog in, maybe see what that looks yeah, like? Definitely. So here Aaron's going to just go to another pane on the iPad app. Again, something that's really easy. And he's gonna add some fog in. And maybe that's gonna roll in over the river. This is very cool, you guys. You know, uh, and I have to say for virtual production, I don't think I would shoot a movie with us like a foot from the LED volume, but I, for purposes of demo, this is amazing. And you got to imagine like maybe we're in a vehicle and this is out the window or it's out the window of a high rise. In this case, in New York City would make a ton of sense. I mean, to me, this is kind of a natural, yeah, evolution of your backdrops. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's taking it into that next generation. It's putting the control back into the hands of the DP, the art department, democratizing it for everybody and giving your talent something to act against. Okay, so nuts and bolts execution of this. I have a, a virtual studio. Um, I have my LED volumes are all kind of set, ready to go. How do I make this system work with the stage that I'm already on or preparing to shoot on? 
So that's what's great, is so this system can be dropped into any existing or new coming LED video wall and camera system on any stage. Doesn't matter the size, doesn't matter the type of LED video wall. You can provide those hardware components or our partners at FuseFX can help provide them for you. But we can come into just about any situation and get the entire system set up to go within 48 hours. Very, very cool. And so once it's set, I mean, you just kind of, you pick your asset and then you go from there, right? Absolutely. Just the way folks license the images from us when we're doing a static still background on fabric, you would license the images that you want to use or arrange to have a custom one set up specifically for your production. And off we go. So, I mean, you've kind of set this up to be very uh, turnkey, Emily, but let's say that I do want to customize it a little more in the sense that can I ever provide an asset and use your UI? Do you guys, are you guys able to you know, prep that asset in the way you would your normal licensed images? Yes, absolutely. So there are situations where we do have DPs who want to shoot their own backing images. We can absolutely work with DPs to provide them with the right instructions for the level of um, image clarity that we need to provide that. Now you said we could get this set in, you know, like 48 hours. Is there a, a general range of costs associated with that? Just so I understand for people out there. Yeah, so we're still working that out with the licensing images and whether it's time-based or, or what all is included in that. So we don't yet have pricing on that, but do stay tuned. We are working towards that. Cool. And uh, I mean, is this essentially rolling out now? When can we expect that this is, uh, you know, everywhere? Yeah, absolutely. So we're still working on a few bits of infrastructure costs included. And so we're planning to have this deployed by early fall. This should be available. And we do have a couple of productions that we're talking about working a little bit sooner than that. Very cool. Well, Emily, thank you so much. Aaron, thank you so much. Everybody, that was a quick peek at RDX Labs. Thank you so much for watching our coverage of CineGear 2022. Stay tuned to CineD.com for more. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Hey, it's me again. Don't miss your chance to win one of 10 Fujifilm X-H2S cameras, as well as $1,000 in cash. That's right, visit CineD.com to learn more.